this is JP from Netherlands over Arkham. Today I will be starting the first run through the return to the Forgotten Age campaign. I just got the uh, return to box uh, yesterday, so might as well start seeing what changes they made to the campaign. And as I first thought, I would like to play it with uh, one of the new starter deck uh, investigators uh, because they haven't come out yet. I decided to instead play this uh, campaign with my uh, self-made custom investigator, Benny Wise. Uh, let's first look a bit uh, what Benny can do. Benny is a survivor investigator. Uh, he has three willpower, two intellect, three fight, and three agility. He has the drifter and performer traits. Uh, fast triggered ability. When an investigator initiates a skill check at your location, you may add one of your base skill values minus one to the corresponding skill check, including your own. If you do, take one damage. Limit once per round. Uh, Elder sign effect plus one. If this test is successful, heal one horror from an investigator at your location. And Benny has 6 sanity and 8 health. His uh, signature asset is the red balloon. It costs 2, is an asset. Uh, it has the willpower, agility and wild icons for committing to skill checks. It has the item and memento traits. Bennywise deck only, pre triggered ability. When an investigator at your location takes any amount of horror, choose and discard one card from your hand and exhaust red balloon. Cancel one horror dealt to that investigator and it takes up one hand slot. Then his signature weakness is Depressed Clown. It's a madness. Uh, Bennywise deck only, peril, revelation, choose one. Take two direct horror. Or all allies and other investigators at your location take one horror. Benny was basically designed to be a supportive investigator. So he can be of course played as a true solo. But his weakness and signature asset work better in multiplayer. But still I like playing him solo. So I'll give him a try through the campaign. And let's look uh, what I put into his deck. Benny's deck size is 30 cards and he has access to survivor cards level 0 to 5, uh, rogue cards uh, level 0 to 2 and neutral cards level 0 to 5. So basically the same stats as Wendy Adams for deck building. I added uh, quite a lot of hand assets like uh, fire axe, meat cleaver and switchblade for fighting and also two lanterns for uh, helping to investigate better. There are two accessory slot items, uh, cherished keepsake times two and lucky cigarette games times two. And uh, because I am uh, trying out one of the new basic weaknesses that came into the in the return to the Forgotten Age box uh, offer you cannot refuse. I am starting with two experience, so I could add uh, cards with experience into the starting deck. So I added Miss Doyle because I just like that card really much. The cats help out quite a lot and they have some synergy with Benny's ability. Of course, uh, because we really need fine clothes in the first scenario and not that much after that. I added adaptable to the deck so I can just change out the fine clothes into other cards I can use. Uh, Liquid Courage is there because uh, Benny can take some horror and what is more fitting than a depressed clown drinking some <laughs> liquor to <laughs> keep himself sane. Uh, I also added Lone Wolf. Then there's events like Look What I Found, Lucky and Winging It. 
their staple survival cards that are really useful. And to get some rogue skills into the deck, I added what's this to generate some resources and also quick thinking. And that's enough of the deck. So, of course, the return to Forgotten Age box just came out, so there will be a campaign story. Well, not maybe campaign story, but campaign mechanic spoilers throughout if you want to experience the Forgotten Age as a return to before watching this. <laughs> I completely understand, so just come back to this video and this video series after you played it yourself. We are starting uh, the campaign as usual in the Untamed Wild scenario. Uh, there are some changes to the setup. I won't go that much into the details of those changes, but this time I just mention that uh, they, there were some new locations uh, that were added into the exploration deck. And also I'll mention that the exploration works a bit differently in this return to version. So we don't add any treasuries into the exploration deck, so it's only five cards. But every time you successfully explore, you add a random uh, treachery or enemy from the encounter deck in, and shuffle it into the exploration deck. So the exploration deck will get tough, uh, more hard uh, as the game goes on. But at the start there are no treacheries or anything like that in there. So. Uh, that's enough of the deck and scenario, so let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. So I will shuffle the Penny's uh, signature cards and the uh, basic weakness into the deck. Just had them out, out so that I remember to mention them. And oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention are the supplies I took for Benny. So uh, there were no new uh, supplies, at least at the start of the scenario. I don't know because I haven't looked ahead if there are new during the campaign. So uh, I binoculars and blanket then I took chalk one medicine and rope so that is the 10 supply points used for those so hopefully they work out well and uh, I think there might be some changes <laughs> during the campaign that uh, different supplies give different stuff to you or work in different ways but we'll find out while we play. So this is basically a blind run. I haven't looked at any of the major changes in the scenarios. I just uh, go one scenario at a time. Okay, so uh, we draw our opening hand. So we get uh, Look what I found, a uh, red balloon, winging it, quick thinking and lantern. I think I'll keep a uh, lantern and winging it. And I will uh, discard the rest. I'll hope to hit at least some weapon. Well, I didn't. I got uh, another lantern and lone wolf and also cherished keepsake. Well, uh, I hope we draw into a weapon soon, because uh, we don't want to be defenseless against all of those snakes and other creatures. So, uh, let's get started. So, uh, first thing I'll do is uh, play Lone Wolf. And then I think I'll play Lantern. And I think I can for now keep 
hold of the cherry's keepsake. So last action I will explore. I'll just uh, quickly reshuffle the exploration deck. So as a reminder, there are no weak uh, treacheries in the exploration deck yet. But every time we succeed, we add one treachery or uh, encounter card to the exploration deck. So uh, we get the river canyon right away. And we move there. So that is our first turn. Uh, the river canyon is the old uh, location from the basic uh, campaign. Uh, it's a four shroud location with one clue. And that is our investigation phase. And we can heal damage there, yeah. Uh, upkeep, no enemies, so we go to upkeep. Uh, we get Miss Doyle. Nice. And we gain one resource. So that is the first turn. And before we forget, uh, we need to shuffle one uh, card here into here. Oh, yeah. And uh, because now there is a possibility that enemies can get shuffled into this exploration deck. There is a, a rules mention in the Return to Forgotten Age pamphlet that if you draw an enemy from the exploration deck, you reveal it normally, so it comes into play. And if it is for some reason discarded, uh, then you discard it, but the exploration still fails. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay. I think first action I'll play down Miss Doyle. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. So... Um, yeah, so we add a Doom. Uh, these uh, Act and Agenda cards didn't change. Just thought I mentioned that. Uh, first encounter card is Estli Guardian and it spawns at an empty location. So I'll just spawn it in the expedition camp. And then I'll play Miss Dawn. And Stall costs. Uh, three. Then we shuffle Miss Doyle's cat army. Put one of them into play and shuffle the rest into our deck. And we get hope, so we can evade better with hope. I would have maybe want to get the auger or uh, better investigation, but hope was what we got and we will have to stick to that. Uh, second action. Uh, I think I will investigate. I'll commit the second lantern to the test. And also, I'll use uh, Venice ability. I'll take one damage and boost my investigation up by one. So the shroud here is three with the lantern. I get plus one from here and plus one from Venice own ability. So we are testing uh, four versus three. And it's a skull. A uh, skull is the number of vengeance points in the victory display. So we succeed and get this group. And last action, I will. Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot. I had one resource from Lone Wolf at the start of the investigation phase. Uh, last action, I will explore again. Uh, we get a new location it's the Cloud Forest. Uh, shroud of three, two clues. Paused. When an enemy at Cloud Forest would be dealt any amount of damage, check your supply 
damage. If no investigator at Cloud Forest has torches, cancel the damage. So uh, we don't have torches, and uh, that means that we can't uh, damage enemies here. That's quite uh, a challenge. Well, maybe we just evade them here and run away. But uh, that is my turn. Uh, we go to enemy phase. The Estli Guardian would uh, shoot an arrow at us if uh, we were at a connecting location, but we are not. So nothing happens. Uh, we go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get a quick thinking. And we gain a resource. And that is that turn. And again, I nearly forgot I need to shuffle one encounter card into here so we'll do that before we forget okay that is that turn let's go to the next turn then we start the next turn so we are doom here encounter card is uh, voices of the jungle revelation put voice of the jungle into play in your threat area at the end of your turn, if you did not successfully explore this turn, take one horror. Test uh, willpower 3. If you succeed, discard voice of the jungle. Okay. So, uh, we need 3 clues to advance. Uh, so, we might as well try to get these clues off of this location. Uh, uh, we get the Lone Wolf money. I'll play uh, winging it. And I'll commit quick thinking to the test. So the Shroud is 2. We are investigating uh, because now we're using this. Uh, we can't use Lantern, but it's basically the same thing. So uh, we the shroud is now two. We are investigating with the quick thinking three versus two, and I think I will. I, I won't use Benny's ability yet. And it's a skull. Uh, we get the clue, and it's actually so we're two. Versus two, three. So we didn't succeed by two or more, so we don't get the extra action, unfortunately. unfortunately. Mm. Second action, I'll play the winging it again from my discard. And this time I'll use Benny's ability to boost myself. So again, uh, uh, actually, I won't use the winging it, I'll use the lantern this time. So again, uh, Three versus two. Second action. Uh, it's a plus one. So we get the clue. And last action. I think I will try to get rid of this voice of the jungle. So I'll commit the cherry keep sake to the test. I am testing four versus three. It's a skull, so it's minus zero. So the voice of the jungle is discarded, and that is our turn. Enemy base, the Ethel Guardian can't reach us. We go to upkeep, we draw a card, and we get the weakness. So offer you cannot refuse. Revelation lose five resources. If you cannot, instead remove offer you cannot refuse from the deck. Search the collection for fine print and place it in your discard file. So I'll do that uh, when I get my collection out later. But yeah, uh, that is a bummer. So we can't, yeah, <laughs> our weakness is coming in hard right at the start. So I think with this weakness, uh, you really have to have five resources at hand all the time, so you don't have to upgrade it to a worse version. There are uh, two versions after this, so I think the last one will 
make you go insane or kill you. But <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to try that out. So this may be a short campaign, but if we die during the campaign, I'll continue uh, the rest of the campaign with another investigator. So um, we remove this from our deck, we add the other one and that is our turn, so we gain one resource also, and let's go to the next turn. So let's look at the fine print weakness. So the change is that Revelation lose, to re uh, lose seven resources if you cannot instead remove fine print from your deck. So it's the collection for sell your soul and place it in your discard pile. So. <laughs> This deal is getting worse all the time. Well, that that's what you get when you uh, take an offer. That is too good to be true. Okay, so let's uh, start the next turn. Uh, we'll add a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Snakebite. Test Agility 3. If you fail, you must either choose deal 5 damage to an ally asset you control, or take one direct damage. If you are not poisoned, you put a set-aside poison weakness into play in your threat area. So, I think I will... Uh, I could try to... Yeah, I'll, I'll take one damage on Miss Doyle, because the Venice ability doesn't need to be direct, so I'm testing uh, adding uh, Venice agility to the test minus one. So I'm testing at 5 versus 3. And it's a uh, minus 2. If you are poisoned, this test automatically fails, but we succeed in the test and we don't get poisoned. So that is that uh, at the investigation phase we gain one resource. Uh, then I think we really need some cards, so I'll draw a card. <laughs> okay. Well, we are drawing all the weaknesses now. So we get the Depressed Clown and uh, Peril uh, choose one, take two direct horror or allies and other investigators at your location take one horror. So I'll take the one horror on allies. Uh, let's draw another card. Uh, we get the Meat Cleaver. So last action I'll play the Meat Cleaver. So we have a weapon ready. And that was a quick turn. Uh, we go to upkeep because again the Ethsley Guardian can't hit us. Uh, we gain one card, we get the fine close, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, uh, we had another doom. We are at four of six doom. Encounter card is a new card called Resentful Wheel, uh, Wilds. Revelation, take one horror and attach resol Resentful Wilds to the nearest location without a copy of Resentful Wilds attached. Forced. After you successfully explore at attached location, add Resentful Wilds to the victory display. And it, it has Vengeance 1, so another way to uh, get Vengeance, even if you're not killing anything. But. Uh, so the nearest location without is uh, River Canyon. Uh, actually, uh, the nearest is our own location. So unfortunately, we have to attach it here. That is a shame because I think we still need to investigate here. So we get a resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, I think we'll pay. Uh, the pine closed as a first action. <coughs> and I think we'll move back and try to explore from here. And we get Serpent's Heaven. And it's a two shroud location. Each serpent enemy at serpent seven gets plus one fight. After your investigator or explore while at serpent's haven, if you are poisoned, take one damage. And there are two clues here. 
so uh, again uh, we are not connected to the expedition camp so we are safe from the arrows uh, yeah at the end of the round I will oh yeah let's do the enemy phase so nothing happens upkeep uh, we draw what's this and we gain one resource and then we can spend the clues to advance so uh, we put the set aside Ishtaka enemy in play at the lead investigator's location so Ishtaka is engaged with us just mark it like this put it on this side Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. And read the act two. So objective if Ishtaka is defeated, advance. Objective if there are one clues on Ishtaka, place her in the victory display and advance. One clue per investigator. So uh, we have a enemy that has five white, fight, four health and four agility. Alert, retaliate, action, parlay, test, intellect four, convince Ishtaka that you are not her enemy. If you succeed, place one clue from the token back on her. If you fail and Istaka is ready, she attacks. So uh, next turn we need to try and parlay or fight Istaka. But let's see which one we choose. So that is that turn. Uh, just checking. Yeah. So let's go to the next turn. So we add another Doom. Encounter card is uh, Pit Viper. Let's uh, put it here. That Viper is also engaged with us. Uh, and we get a uh, resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, first action. I think I will parlay Ishtaka. I will commit watch this to the test. I also will take one damage and boost uh, my... Oh yeah, uh, watch this can't be used for that. Okay, so uh, we have intellect 2 and parlay of 4, but we have fine close, so it's uh, 2 against 2. So we take the damage and try 3 versus Actually, first action I will uh, use hope to evade the pit viper. So let's back up a bit. Zero. So the pit viper is evaded. Second action. Let's try to. Parlay with his stock up. And now we take the damage. So we are testing 3 versus uh, 2. And it's a minus 1. So we parlay, we put 2 here. So we advance. Okay, so if Ishtaka has one clue per investigator of her, remember that Ishtaka is leading the way. Add one cultist token to the chaos pack for the remainder of the campaign. Shuffle the three set aside ruins locations into the exploration deck and advance to a free A search for the ruins. So the guarded ruins is removed. Here, Here we have the ruins locations. So we need to find the Esli ruins. Uh, so each Esli guardian enemy cannot attack or be attacked. 
ignore the effects of the oral from the trees treachery. Uh, objective only investigators at the ruins of Estli can spend the required number of clues to go to advance. Yeah. So Istaka moves into the victory display. And last action. I will play winging it from my discard. So we are testing uh, two versus one. It's a minus one. <coughs> so we get two clues. And winging it is shuffled into our deck. And that is our turn. Enemy face, uh, nothing happens. Upkeep, the pit viper readies. And engages us. We draw a card. Uh, we get a winging it. And one resource. Okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we are at six doom of six. We advance the agenda. Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile and set aside agents of Yik encounter set into the encounter deck. Each investigator test willpower 3. Each investigator who fails performs the following in order. If you are poisoned, take 1 damage and 1 horror. If you are not poisoned, put the set aside poison weakness into play and threat area. So uh, we shuffle these into the Counter deck, and we didn't have anything in the counter discard, so nothing gets shoveled from there. Okay, and then we do the willpower three test. I'll take one damage to boost my willpower by two. And now I'll commit to watch this to test. I'll put three resources on it. So I'm testing uh, base three plus two, so five plus one from watch this, so six versus three. It's a minus three, but unfortunately, we don't succeed by at least one or more, so we don't get the resources. But at least we're not poisoned. Okay, uh, encounter card for this turn is Voice of the Jungle. Goes into play. Uh, first action we will uh, evade with hope against Pit Viper. Uh, so, 5 versus 3. And it's an auto fail. Well, that complicates things. I think we'll just have to try again. Uh, minus three, no luck. Uh, last action, I think I'll have to try and hit the Viper because yeah. Uh... If we fail the evade, it will attack and we get poison, so we have to just kill it. And it has plus one fight here. Uh, we are testing four versus four. Well, <laughs> lucky we got the zero. So the pit viper is dead, but it has vengeance, so it goes into the victory display. And then. Uh, no enemy face, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the red balloon, and we gain one resource. So yeah, and we would have gained one if it low too, so we have two resources. Uh, yeah, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. 
we are at Doom, so we are at 1 of 9 Doom. And counter card for this turn is. Oh, yeah, uh, we forgot the voice of the jungle last turn. So we take one horror at this point. Uh, Curse of Yik, so we get minus one fight, minus one health, and gain the Serpent trait. Test will power 2. This test gets plus one difficulty for each Vengeance point in the victory display. If you succeed, discard Curse of Yik. So I think we need to get rid of that. I think I won't need the red balloon. So first action, uh, we will try to get rid of the Curse of Yik. Uh, I am testing 5 versus 2, uh, 5 versus 3 because there is one mention for the victory display. And it's an auto fail. Uh, we'll try again. I'll take one damage to boost my willpower. It's a minus 2, so we succeed. Uh, so Curse of Yik is discarded. Mm. Last action, we'll try to explore. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. So we get the Pit Viper from the Encounter deck, uh, Exploration deck. And that means that it will attack us. Oh yeah, hope it's ready, but we don't have any actions left. Uh, so, enemy base, the Pit Viper attacks us, we'll take uh, one damage. And we get the poison weakness. And we get the horror. Because we didn't explore successfully. So, uh, things are not looking that good. Uh, upkeep. Well, we draw a teddy bear to suit us. And one resource. And. I think uh, we forgot. Uh, well, I'm not sure if we forgot the Lone Wolf this turn, but yeah, it really doesn't matter. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Encounter card is uh, best laid plans. Another new uh, treasury. So it's Peril Revelation. You must either choose one, uh, lose two actions, shuffle the top card of the Encounter deck into the Exploration. Deck. Uh, we can't afford losing action, so I'll shuffle one card from the encounter deck into the exploration deck, which makes it a bit tougher, but we may get lucky. Uh, okay, first action. I will Discard the lantern. So, uh, no. We try to evade this pit viper. Uh, I'll use hope. Uh, we are evading uh, five versus three. It's a zero. So we evade the pit viper. Then, second action, uh, we try to explore. Uh, we get the Temple of the Fang. Uh, two Shroud, one Clue. Temple of the Fang gets plus one Shroud for each Vengeance point in the victory display. And it is connected. So we move, we move there. But I think I'll just move this a bit higher so we have, have room for other locations. Okay, and yeah, the clue there. Last action, I'll try to investigate. I'll use the lantern. I'm investigating two versus two. It's a zero. We get that clue. And that is our turn. So, enemy face nothing. Upkeep. That uh, snake ready. We draw a card, uh, we get Ogre, and we gain, yeah, we forget, 
the, about the lone wolf again, so we gain a resource from investigation phase start and also upkeep. And we explored so we don't get that uh, voice of the jungle this turn. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Encounter card is overgrowth. Attached to your location. Limit one per location. You cannot explore at that location. Well, uh, that doesn't bother me because we have to go to Serpent's Haven to explore to find the S3 ruins. So first action, uh, we'll move. Just checking this. So we have to successfully explore. I think I will play it safe and discard Ogre. Exhaust and discard Ogre to automatically evade. And as a fast action, I'll play Ogre. And last action, I will in uh, I will explore, and we get. <laughs> Oh no, uh, we get Serpent of Yoth, that is not good, oh dear. Oh dear, I think that might kill us next turn, or ac actually nearly kill us already this turn. Okay. Uh, enemy face, uh, Serpent of Yoth uh, will hit us, but uh, if there is, are one or more vengeance points, the victory display, Serpent of Yoth gains uh, retaliate. <coughs> there is one, and so it has retaliate. It hits for one damage and two horror. And. I think we can't afford taking the damage on ourselves, so unfortunately, Miss Doyle and her cats are defeated. So I'll take the damage and one horror on Miss Doyle and one horror on myself. And we need to find seal and remove them from the deck. Uh, upkeep, we get a card, we get a fire axe, and this bit wiper readies, and we gain one resource. Uh, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. I also forgot the uh, Voices in the jungle last turn, so I'll add one horror. So this turn we add a threat, four of nine. Uh, we get an encounter card. Uh, best laid plans. Uh, we can't afford to lose any actions because we need to try and evade these enemies. This won't be easy <laughs> without hope. Oh uh, dear. Oh yeah, Miss Doyle is dead already. Okay, how should we do this? So, uh, first action. Uh, let's uh, I think we have to kill the pit viper. Way, other way, and hopefully explore. Okay, so mm, we will hit the pit wiper. I'll commit the fire axe to the test. We are hitting five, six versus four. Elder sign. 
Uh, uh, we can heal an horror. That's good. And meat cleaver here's another horror. Pit Viper is dead. Goes to the victory display. Second action. Uh, I think we have to evade. So I'm uh, 7 damage in of 8. I'm evading uh, 5 versus 3. I have nothing to commit to this test, so hopefully it's did. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Lucky that doesn't have alert, so last action we... Oh yeah. We get the money. But yeah, last action we'll try to evade again. Uh, 3 versus 3. It's a plus one, <laughs> so... Uh, well, at least we evaded this turn. Uh, it really doesn't help. Uh, at the end of the round we take one horror from the boys of the jungle. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy readies. Uh, we draw a card. Yes, uh, <laughs> we get a lucky, so it may save us. Uh, depending if we survive next encounter card, we draw and we uh, manage to explore. But uh, that is that turn. Let's see what if we can survive next turn. Okay, so uh, five of nine doom. Encounter card is uh, best laid plans. So, who shuffled this deck? <laughs> so we shuffle one card into the exploration deck. Oh my god, there's more treacheries, I think, here. Or encounter cards than there are uh, locations. Uh, okay, first action. Only thing we can do is evade. Oh yeah, uh, we get money. Uh, evading 3 versus 3. Uh, I'll take 1 damage and the uh, fine close is gone, so I'm testing 5 versus 3. Minus 1, uh, we evade. We don't need to use the lucky. Okay. Second action. Uh, I think the only uh, only way is to just try to explore. If we fail this explore and stuff, I think we need to move the river canyon and maybe die there. Uh, because... Yeah. Okay, uh, exploring. Oh my god, we got found the ruins. <laughs> and... Mm, okay. I think we don't have winging, winging it in the deck. So, there are two clues here. I think we can't risk it, so we just spent the three clues to advance. <laughs> So, uh, discovery of a lifetime, uh, we get resolution 1. Resolution 1, so in your campaign log, record that the investigators were... Oh uh, no, this is the wrong one. Resolution 1, uh, in your campaign log, record that the investigators cleared a path to the Esli ruins. Record in your campaign log that Alejandro chose to remain at camp. Do not add Alejandro Vela to any investigator's deck. A record in your campaign log that the investigators have earned Ishtaka's trust. Post each vengeance point in the victory display, record one tally mark under Yix Fury in your campaign log. Beware the anger of the father of serpents as his fury will haunt you in the future. So we add two tally marks there and we gain a victory axe. So we have one, two, three, four, 
by the experience. Okay, that's that's decent. And then uh, I think I'll resolve the interlude now. So we check our supplies. Each investigator with a blanket breathes restful sleep. So I use suffer no ill effects because we have the blanket. Uh, low rations, so I don't have uh, provisions. I'll start the next scenario with three fewer resources. Uh, I'll choose myself as the lookout, so I earn two additional experience as you gain further insight into the motivations of the Esli because I have the binoculars and poison spread, so I suffer one physical trauma. And that is the <laughs> return to the Untamed Wilds. Uh, I I'll have to check. Oh yeah. Did we have a window to heal in this one? Oh, uh, yeah, we can use our medicine to heal the poison it, so I'll heal it. So I don't suffer the physical trauma. Okay. So uh, that is the game. Uh, next time we will be heading into the Esli ruins in the Doom of Esli scenario. So I'm really excited to see how that scenario will be changed in this uh, version. So thanks for watching and until next time.